Hey guys, Eric here with AirCompressorPartsOnline.com. All right, here are some air compressor pumps. Uh, today I just want to go through a short description on the uh, difference between a single stage pump and a two stage pump. Um, here we have uh, two very popular pumps. Uh, the one on the left is going to be a single stage and on the right two stage. And the difference is not the number of cylinders. Uh, you get a lot of questions, uh, you say, uh, my uh, pump is a two, twin cylinder, has two cylinders, or four cylinders, uh, so what does that make it, single stage or two stage? Well, it really doesn't matter. Uh, these are both inline twin cylinders. Inline meaning, of course, you have uh, one front, one back, not in a V-shape like a motorcycle engine, for instance. Uh, but you could have a four-piston pump, yet it can still be a single stage. Um, you know, so it's really not number of cylinders. Now, you'll notice here that these cylinders on the single stage, which is a Campbell VT series, used on Husky units and Campbell Husfeld units, um, yeah, the cylinders are the same size, so that's a giveaway of a single stage compressor. Uh, usually, and 99.9% .9 of the time, if the cylinders are the same size, it's going to be a single stage pump. And a single stage means that they'll only pressurize um, up to typically 150 psi, the maximum pressure. Usually about 125 psi is standard. So on a lot of wheelbarrow, gas units, uh, hand carry units, smaller portable units, uh, usually you'll find single stage compressors. Again, they don't uh, recycle as quickly, they don't have a high pressure chamber, so they basically uh, pump up uh, to a sm uh, smaller PSI or a lower PSI rather, and don't recycle as quickly as two stage. Um, over here is a B5900 pump used on many, many brands of units from DeVilbus to uh, Campbell Hossfield or Coleman Powermate, uh, Husky, uh, you name it. So used on many different units. Um, one big giveaway is the intercooler tube. Uh, this is a three-quarter inch tube that uh, basically connects the low pressure chamber to the high pressure chamber, or one cylinder to the next. So that is the, uh, the intercooler, and of course you have your aftercooler over here, which is thinned to help cool the air before it reaches the tank. Uh, that's why it's thinned to help dissipate that heat. And this is a two-stage because you can uh, kind of see that the front cylinder here, closest to the camera, is going to be a smaller cylinder than in the back. So you have a small cylinder, a large cylinder, and this has a smaller high pressure piston and a larger low pressure piston. So the small piston is high pressure, the large cylinder, the large piston is low pressure. And you have a, a typically a different valve set up. Uh, they're going to be heavier duty valves and uh, the, it, basically the low pressure cylinder pressurizes it to a certain predetermined pressure, usually about 70 psi in the low pressure chamber and of course uh, transfers the air through the intercooler tube to the high pressure chamber or the small cylinder, small piston, and it pressurizes that up to about 175 psi. So two stage units typically pump up to a maximum of say 175 to even 200 psi and further even, but typically around 175 psi max, using a lot of stationary compressors in your shop, garage, you know, what have you. Um, so uh, that's the main difference between the two. And what's great about two-stage units, of course, uh, more air capacity. So higher CFM, uh, cubic feet per minute, higher output, higher PSI, and of course they recycle much quicker. Once it cuts back in, you need that air, you need it recharge, it will recycle much quicker. So that's the difference between single stage and two stage. We have various pumps available. Uh, of course, look by manufacturers. I'd be able to search by your model number and your manual in order uh, using that OEM number. Um, if not, you can find single stage and two stage compressors on our website at the top tab at uh, generic air compressor parts and then we have a section called pumps and we list them by single stage and two stage and list CFM ratings, PSI ratings, dimensions, specifications, all kinds of great information on those pages under specs. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to email us or give a sales associate a call. We'll be glad to give you more information and help you out.